Okay, welcome back. We are looking at BNB, Binance Coin. So what are we looking at from the last video that we covered? I don't remember exactly where uh, we were, but what we did have marked was indubitably this red zone, which was arranged between about 237 to 241. We perfectly wicked right on up into that B. And then, and again, like nice rejection back on down to consolidate essentially. Now, that being said, what can we take away from looking at all of this? That high right on over there, what do you know? We actually ended up taking that on out. And we haven't really taken out any major structure here, at least as of yet. So that overall looks fine. What we've also mentioned in prior videos as well for BNB that we thought this i'm just going to highlight this all again this structure right here somewhat to a degree resembles which uh if one you have made it this far into the video let me know in the comment section do you agree with me that this resembles what i'm showing you right now which is ethereum classic back in may or um december no 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. may slash june i was looking at the wrong one may slash june of 2022 which would be this right on over here. And basically what transpired from that point on that ETC went and rallied on up into about that $45 mark. Now, this is clearly afterwards, if you haven't seen what Ethereum Classic looks like, but it hasn't taken out this low, most importantly. But generally speaking, what we are necessarily looking at, we're not saying that it's going to be a copy and paste, but relatively the structure does look somewhat similar in my opinion. So that being said, uh, I did just want to mention that. Now, overall, if you are unaware of my general standpoint on BNB is that I do think it is more so bearish. We are on the four hour time frame right here. And you do have this like rising wedge um, that kind of formed. You can see even back tested the uh, trend over here or the order blocks, if you will. So coming back on up where I would actually venture to say that we aren't as bearish as presumed and we are actually more bullish would be really getting ideally like at least like two uh, closures above here on the weekly time frame. So right where my cursor is at, that's at about $270. Um, because at that point where I think would be necessarily happening is if we can get rid of all this, you can see that we put this low in back in June of 2022. So all the way back here. And most importantly, or notably, we actually haven't broken that low. So if we were to get past that 270 point, then I would be thinking that this is actually making, that was your first move up. This was retracement and you'd actually be looking to make a higher high in comparison to that high that we made back in November of 2022. So I do want to just get that out of the way, which by the way, should we be looking further back? Not necessarily the best of structure right on over here. So the 270 point, I do think that you would have a shot on breaking that. And then should you end up breaking that uh, $400 mark, which is pretty much where that high is uh, back in November, um, November of 2022, then uh, at that point, I do think that you'd be uh, more so bullish at the very minimum. I mean, getting back up to that would be bullish in itself, but um, I, I think the overall picture, you would be at least looking getting close to the all time high once again. But um, other than that, that's all I necessarily have to say for right now. Uh, daily time frame isn't looking too bad. We kind of wanted to see follow through here on the daily time frame. So pretty much continue pushing up and then where we are right now, we'd want to see ideally no daily closure lower than that. Um, otherwise getting swift rejection here again, wouldn't be necessarily the best thing in the world, but uh, that's really going to be about it for the video. I did just want to go over those couple of things. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you, do you, do you <laughs> disagree with me? Um, yeah, other than that, you guys have a phenomenal day as always. Remember, none of this is financial advice. These are all just my thoughts and opinions. And adios, muchachos.